All right, as I mentioned, and maybe you experienced it, thousands of travelers on Southwest Airlines were grounded over the weekend as their cancellations and delays stretched into today. What's going on? Joining me now is Cheryl Chumley. She's online opinion editor at the Washington Times, author of Socialists Don't Sleep, Christians Must Rise or America Will Fall. Cheryl, welcome to Washington Watch. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. So uh, what's going on here? Um, we reached out and asked for a uh, response from Southwest, and they said this was all about uh, delays. They said there was delays on Friday that carried over into the weekend, but they said, quote, as a note, the operational challenges were not a result of Southwest employee demonstrations. So who do we believe? Well, I, I think if you look at the timeline of a couple key events, you can draw a different conclusion, especially when you put them in context of the, the stats from other airlines delaying or canceling flights due to supposed weather. So Southwest Airlines Pilot Associations, which represents about 10,000 pilots around the nation, just filed a lawsuit a few days ago looking to get a judge to halt Southwest Airlines mandated vaccine for employees. And so while that was going on, Southwest Airlines, the, the pilots, uh, they canceled what I think it was something like 1,800 flights and delayed 1,800 flights over the weekend, leaving scores of people stranded. And they did publicly blame it on weather or unforeseen events. But at the same time, weather, and this is Forbes reporting, found that the, there were only a handful of flights canceled by other airlines also operating out of the same areas as Southwest. So you can draw conclusions, and my conclusion in, in this commentary piece is that, uh, you know, wink, wink, it's due to the weather, but we all know what's going on. And for that, we should be thankful for these pilots taking a strong stand for individual rights over government overreach and employer mandates. So the, the union, the pilots' union, has... Um asked the court in, uh, in Dallas to, t to uh, block the company from carrying out this federally mandated coronavirus vaccine until an existing lawsuit over an alleged U.S. labor law violation is resolved. That uh, reported by Bloomberg. So this is an issue that's going on between Southwest and their pilots. Yes, it's a definite issue. And here's the big deception, because I think this is just getting uh, buried as the government, as Joe Biden's administration wishes it to. There is no such thing as a federal vaccine mandate for private businesses yet. What's happened is, and I'm sure a lot of your listeners will recall this, President Biden said that he was going to use OSHA to issue a rule. He ordered OSHA to issue a rule that under under emergency authorization, private employers would mandate onto their employees to get the vaccine. We're still waiting for that OSHA rule. But that hasn't been written. It hasn't been released yet. So, you know, factually speaking, there is no vaccine mandate. What's happened is these businesses out there, big corporations, businesses in bed with the government and so forth, or just frightened corporate executives are jumping the gun and forcing their employees to get, man to get the vaccines, calling them mandates. But there are no federal mandates on this. And even if there were, they're going to be challenged in court because what gives the executive, the executive branch of the United States, the right to dictate to free citizens in America? They have to take a shot. So when you look at the president over a month ago, he made that speech saying that he was going to mandate this, that we haven't seen those rules come from OSHA. Could it be that the president realizes he doesn't have that authority and he's trying to get these big companies to do his bidding for him absent any kind of government edict? Yeah, I, I think you nailed it, Tony. I think that's exactly what's going on. And we know this to be true because just a couple months earlier and previously, even on the campaign trail, Joe Biden was saying that he did not have the authority to mandate vaccines on free American citizens. And so this is sort of the, the backdoor way of pushing the vaccine mandate by scaring people, by scaring and frightening employers into thinking they have to mandate to be in compliance. 
And so it becomes a mandate sort of by silent, uh, you know, government uh, policy, which it hasn't been written yet. So we need to keep that in mind. OSHA has not yet released any paperwork on this. But it can all come tumbling down if the employees don't play along. And say, unlike the employers who are jumping in line to to mandate this on their employees, but if like we saw over the weekend, what if, what if, and I just throw this out there as a hypothetical, what if there were a national stick out day? We're not going to get stuck, so we're taking the day off. And we brought the economy came to a grinding halt. That's exactly for freedom-minded Americans and for Americans who are concerned that these vaccine mandates are the tipping point uh, for this country to head headlong into tyranny. That's what needs to occur in this country. And that's why I commend the Southwest pilots for taking this stance. And if you look at also some other cases, there was just a federal court who ruled that Western Michigan University's college athletes do not have to take the vaccine now as a condition of playing sports, despite the mandate put on these athletes by their university administrators. So the walls are crumbling a bit, and what it takes is some resistance. Yeah, well, I think you're right, and I hope uh, we'll see more like these Southwest pilots who, who, according to Southwest, weren't demonstrating, but the evidence would suggest maybe they are. Uh, Cheryl, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, Thanks for your insights on this uh, unfolding story. Thanks for having me.